Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays the Binding of Isaac Adrith Plus. Going for that quarter century, baby. Kid and play haircut. Great rate of fire, great damage, great HP. Why do you sound uh, like you're a little bit low energy, NL? I just drank 500 milliliters of water and ate some cheese and crackers. And I've got to be honest, there's a little cheese and water bubble forming in my abdomen. And uh, it, it wants to come out. It wants to come out. And uh, I, I'm, I'm just slowly, I'm squeezing the muscles in the upper abdomen, holding it in. But I do, I feel that bubble, it's percolating, okay? Just know that. I love the start of this run. We got there's options, which is, I mean, to start with there's options is amazing. Hopefully, it ends up being better than it often is, where it goes like, hey, what do you want, an HP upgrade or a slightly different HP upgrade? But you know what? Better two HP upgrades than two range upgrades, I suppose. I, uh, I'm gonna go fight the boss. I think we're ready. We don't want to leave the floor. We haven't seen the item room yet, but uh, rate of fire, damage, HP is a good start. Now, I was gonna say, if we can win the last run, we can win any run. That's not really fair. Like, the last run was actually highly good. We screwed ourselves, and it, it pains me to have to take that level of personal responsibility, but I guess it's just... I want this arcade. I guess it's a it's a part of getting older, you know? I, I recognize that, you know, whereas when I was younger, I would say, Dude, 0 0.66 speed, this run is screw with me. And uh, now that I'm older, I'm like, well... I absentmindedly didn't really think about what I was doing, and uh, all of a sudden I end up taking some items that give me damage I do not need in exchange for speed I, that was of dire importance. Now I'm... You know what? I don't know. I'm torn on how I feel about Mongo Baby for now. I think it's... Question mark card is useless right now. I think it's not amazing yet. And it sort of makes me wish I took Little Steven, because then we'd have two Little Stevens. But would I rather have two Little Stevens, or would I rather that Mongo Baby uh, does what it does for right now? And then if we ever get a better trinket, or sorry, a better familiar, then Mongo Baby can, uh, you know, replicate that effect instead of replicating the effect of a, you know, a unit that's not really all that good in the whole scheme of things. Anyway, our first choice was not that good. What would you have chosen? If you had the opportunity, would you choose uh, Little Steven or Pageant Boy? I feel like I hate to get into it like the banal minutia, drill down to like the mechanics of Isaac to this degree. If your damage is good, you probably take Pageant Boy. My personal opinion. Shoop the Whoop, incredible. Very, very good. You know what I'm going to do, and it pains me to do it a little bit. I don't really care about that right now. I don't care about getting charges for bosses. I'm just gonna play my cards right, I hope. Maybe get a single Spirit Heart to protect our deal with the Devil Chance. Even if we spend all of our money doing this, and don't think about the optics of that being all of Pageant Boy. <laughs> Even if we spend more than all of our money doing that. Okay, I'll tell you what. I'm gonna get real risky. This is a, a sincere, don't try this at home sort of moment. We shouldn't do this. We should, no, I don't know. We're not going to do this. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to play our cards right. We're going to get our HP back up. We're going to get a deal with the devil. And we're not going to overcommit for dumb reasons, okay? We're going to get it back together. Now, at this point, I mean, with one and a half hearts. I was just gonna say, with one and a half hearts, I'll go into the boss trap room. And then I was like, ah, now I get it. <laughs> That's why we, you know, in the first place didn't. Yeah, you get the idea. Anyway. I, you understand where I was coming from. It was all for the, the greater good. You know, the point of the situation was we were gonna, uh, leverage all of our available abilities to give ourselves the opportunity to have, uh, a guaranteed deal with the devil chance on the deal with the devil we get brimstone mom's knife all three guppy items all at once for free out of red chest and then we're rolling that's how it works out in my head i'm guilty of playing a little bit of a perfect world sort of what if 
You know, it's... I learned about the perfect world what if from Magic the Gathering, believe it or not. It's where I take most of my valuable life lessons. <laughs> it's from... Card game. I almost said a children's card game. It's not a card game for children. But it's a card game that can be enjoyed by children. Okay? I'm not insulting magic. You know how much of a diehard magic fan? I got a... I am, I should say. I have a... A sealed box of Conspiracy 2 that we purchased in order to do several drafts at PAX West two years ago. Dan Giesling, we get to our hotel in Seattle. Dan Giesling texts us. Oh, I'm not coming. Sorry, guys. Oh, just a little last minute decision to not get on the airplane, I guess. And um, we still, we had the box. We said, you know what? We're not going to crack it. We'll save it. I think we want this. Yeah, I was going to say, if it's too rated fire, we want that. I'm not throwing Dan under the bus. I mean, mind you, that's like literally exactly what I'm doing. But simultaneously, all I'm saying is that box is sat there waiting for a day when we can play it with our friends and colleagues. Hopefully this packs. If not, maybe TwitchCon. I don't know. But what it is, is, you know, you'll be like doing a draft in Magic. And you look at a card and you go, oh, that would be so amazing if I drew it in exactly this situation. You got to realize... That's really, really, really unlikely to happen. Or at least it's, it's not any more likely to happen than a situation in which you draw it in more of a dead hand, I guess. So you gotta kinda tailor your expectations. I think it's a valuable way to think about some things or to contextualize things in your life, you know? I shouldn't have been playing that arcade thinking, well, I'll probably get a blood bank anyway, but even if I don't, I can go to the boss trap room and get a teleportation to the deal with the devil, pick up brimstone, and we're good to go. Might be a little bit less engaging, but if you want to do, like, a real Isaac play that keeps you alive, you probably want to do, like, uh, you know, the, the, imagine things being the worst they could possibly be. Like, ah, uh, what if I play the Blood Bank and then it, uh, I don't know, it spits out IV bag immediately and then I, yeah, you get the idea. I'm not gonna go down that road too far. Nun's Habit, I think, is worth it, but... I, I don't know. I'm torn, I guess. I think it could have been worth it or not worth it. This feels like a secret room, but we got really no uh, way to control for that, so let's just move on. I, maybe I should have waited, saved the money, gone with something like Nun's Habit or something, or uh, Nine Volt or something like that. I think we'll definitely take advantage of this. This is, you know, this isn't a perfect world situation. It's just a good opportunity. There's a difference between the perfect situation and the good opportunity. Probably. Nine volt and we win, pretty much, is is where we're at right now. Dude, yeah, can I just say, like, feeling a little starved for boss rush. Haven't had the opportunity uh, too many times recently. I, I should be careful what I wish for, because oftentimes we end up doing boss rush, and then, uh, you know, about a third of the way through, we go, oh, I wish I didn't do this. <laughs> this isn't worth it for skinny on mushroom. But it's the chance to do it, you know? It's like being invited to, like, a colleague's birthday party. It's like, I don't want to go to your birthday party, Susan. But I also don't want you to not invite me. Like, that's really rude. What I want to do is receive your invite and then never respond. Because if I responded, I would want to say no, and that would jeopardize our situation. And then, like, you go, uh, on Monday, I come in, and I go, how was your weekend? And you go, oh, it was pretty good. I had my birthday party. And I go, oh, no, that was this weekend? I was gonna... And she goes, I know, I know. Sorry. I... Here's the thing. I love Zane. That's not Zane. That's murder. That's homicide. I'd be killed by soy milk. Lactose intolerance to the highest order. <sighs> it's a tough choice. I, I'm going to start here. I'm going to start here. Why is it a tough choice? Well, it, Trinket Smelter honestly will pay for itself. So I'm almost like maybe we should just buy a Trinket Smelter. But you know what? What, what else would generate as much money as Trinket Smelter right now? Not buying either of the items in there. Or, and going for a reroll instead, you know? No, 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 no. So I finally found a, an okay use for our question mark card. That was good. I do not want Krampus' head. It's not, like, if I had to stratify the items, Krampus' head is definitely a B-tier item as far as I'm concerned. 
B tier spacebar item. I would definitely never describe it as bad. But I would describe Shoop the Whoop as an A. Not quite S, but A. Tell you what, I don't know if it's the best option we had here, but I'll go deep pockets. Just waiting on a damage upgrade. I did say no to a damage upgrade, but I did not inhale. <laughs> but I did not shoot the deputy. There's a lot of but I did not, you know, in, in popular media. Let's try to think of more. A lot of them are just variations on Bill Clinton quotes. But if you'll forgive me, I did go through a lot of formative years during, you know, the administration, so... Bill Clinton playing a saxophone. I did not have sexual relations with that woman, you know. It was a it was in the news forever. For I mean it felt like a lifetime for me, but I was also like, you know, between the ages of like 8 and 10. Hmm. Butterbean. It's weird, you know, time passes like... I'm trying to think of the right way to describe it. My weeks go by very, very, very fast. My months go by very, very... You know what? Every, everything goes by fast. <laughs> I was trying to think what goes by slow. Nothing really goes by slow. Dude, my days go by so fast. And I don't know if you'll see that as a good thing or a bad thing. I guess if your days go by slow, it means, you know, you take it in a more leisurely approach, maybe. If your days go by fast, they're busy. Busy is good, I think, if you're doing something you want to do, and most of my busyness is stuff I want to do, so I think it's a positive. Um, I wake up, grab the keys to put a little makeup, drink a couple cups of coffee real quick. It's cold coffee, don't have to wait for it to cool down. Start recording, immediately. Record, record, NLSS, record, record. Make dinner, go to bed. You know, usually with a few hours of downtime after the make dinner part, but um, I don't want to make it sound like I'm being worked to, to the bone. And the weeks go by fast. Like, I'm recording this on a Thursday. And, you know, I have a rhythm, basically. Because if you walk without a rhythm, you can't attract the world. Thursday is... Not my busy day, but it's the last of my really busy days. It's the last of my record plus stream days until Sunday. You know, Friday is just record. I record a lot. Saturday, I take the day off and I do something with my wife. I, oh, one of these days I'll figure out how to dodge those reliably. But for now, thank you for the luck that you've given me there. And then Sundays are stream and record. But, you know, I basically the, after Thursday, I'm like, I'm kind of in the clear for a bit. But now the days, they, like the weeks, they, they whip by so fast. It feels like it was two days ago that, that it was Saturday, but it wasn't. It was two days ago that it was Tuesday. <laughs> I Sometimes, like, I talk so much on a daily basis, and this isn't meant to even seem braggadocious. So if, you're, if you sense that there, you're grasping at straws. But uh, I, I have so many conversations both with myself and with other people on the NLSS over the course of the average you know, Monday to Friday, that sometimes I'll be like, hey, you remember, like, last week when I brought this up? And they're like, yeah, but that wasn't last week, that was yesterday. And I'm like, oh, mentally, that feels like it was last week or later. It's, uh, it's weird. Because when I was a kid, every day had, like, way more meaning, I think. I, I think I did this exact spiel recently on the show as well but or recently in in this very episode now was it recent <laughs> or was it six months ago or was it this very episode i don't know see it's that's the thing um you know i could be like i think i could tell you the name of every movie i saw in theaters and the month that i saw it between the years of like 2002 and 2006 and now i'm like how many episodes did i record today seven eight <laughs> Just the brain, it fills up faster, dude. That's gonna be my excuse. People don't like to hear that. But whenever I make a mistake in Darkest Dungeon, or Isaac for that matter, that I wouldn't have made two years ago, people are like, he, he knew what that trinket did. How did he forget? Is his brain okay? And I'll be like, well, the thing is, when you add so much into your brain, 
It's some stuff just spills out. That's the way it works. I think I've reached like the read write capacity of this brain hard drive. Now, there's a lot of useless information to, that you, the brain could just let it go. So much useless trivia is stored in there for reasons. I'm gonna verb infested just cause like I don't like it that much. Um, like, did you know Jay Roach, the director of the Austin Powers films, also directed Meet the Parents? That doesn't need to be there. You can take that and leave. Save some other things, like you know how to how to cook every ingredient I know how to work with. Save all those. Those that's semi-practical information at the very least. You know, if you're making a, a soup or a stir fry, you add the vegetables and the and the protein in order of like hardness. You know? Hard things that take longer to cook go in first. It's very simple, but people you know, if if I was to start cooking a soup, I said, what order do you put the ingredients in? I think it's a valid question. If you think about it for two seconds, you'll probably figure it out, but still. Again, you know, I don't think there's any such thing as common sense. Maybe because I don't have any. I've never interfaced with it before. <laughs> what makes you larger? Strength? Um. Okay, thank you for paying out. I am going to pay for a guppy item. I want to become guppy. Um, have we been to our item room on this floor? I do not know, and that is why I hate this curse. <laughs> Wish I kept the strength card. Could I have? Maybe I couldn't have. What is this? Full health. I really wanted that to be uh, HP up, but, I mean, that's a pretty narrow window of success. We're just going to leave, and it's good. Like, what we got there was, was really good. We're still behind schedule for boss rush. Unfortunately for us. Yeah, this is another run that's kind of similar to our last one. It started way stronger. Like, the, the Y-intercept is, is high. It's above the midline. Puberty. Do not be sad about that. Be happy about that. It's a little too hot Kudarati on the dodge there. Emperor? Stars. Also fine. Let's use that. Ugh. Not particularly excited. But what I mean is, it's a lot like the last run. It started strong, but the slope on the line, if we're doing like a Y equals MX plus B sort of thing, it's not where I want it to be. I'm paying for that, straight up. So what are we going to do? Well, we're going to recognize it faster. That's a great start. Oh, I love this too. No guppy, just spiders. Very painful. I really thought the poison would kill him. Um, we're going to recognize it faster, which, you know, part and parcel with that is don't play so aggressive. Make sure you're, you know, buying spirit hearts or the otherwise keeping your HP up whenever possible. Um, and apart from that, I just, you know, with there's options, maybe you want to actually invest in some HP. I guess the other thing is we don't actually have to take guppy items. I'm happy we have the opportunity to take guppy items. But if we want to preserve HP, we don't have to take a guppy's tail. Obviously, we want a nine lives in, in our current situation, but... You know, we don't have to take... Oh, my lord. We don't have to take a guppy's tail. I wanted to. <laughs> we didn't have to take a guppy's head, either. But, uh... I, w I, w I wanted to. You know, I don't want to do the same joke 20 times in a row, but... Uh, what a who am I kidding? That's the... That's kind of the gist of the show. I don't think you trust. Ooh. HP, please. And if you give me HP, I'm not even going to take it. How's that for a deal? You don't pay until 2018. I know that's this year, but it's a little later this year. Sorry, Bumbo. You go ahead, buddy. That's my mistake. I forgot that I had you. I mean, I'm fine with Bumbo. I wouldn't say I'm happy, but I've, I've recently insulted Bumbo and then was schooled in how uh, much damage Bumbo actually does. What? <laughs> I guess maybe the, the spikes that he shot got one of those. To get two spirit arts for a single bomb is insanely great. Please be dead. Thank you. Okay, all of these are not good. We'll probably go shot speed. Sin robes as well worth taking. 
I said to probably go shot speed, then I realized they are both shot speed. Head down to the next floor. Boss Rush is only looking strong right now because of the Telepills card. But we could... Uh, I'm telling you straight up, I don't think we're going to make Boss Rush. So I'm going to Telepills out. I really don't think we would have we would have made it. Yo, thank you. Dude, the game is being so merciful with HP now. What does it want from me? <laughs> we got our Telepills back. If we're going the right way... And we take Shoop the Whoop into the mom fight. There's a chance. I always... You have to remember, like, it's not just getting the boss rush that it should factor into whether or not it's worth it. It's like... And what percentage, what incidence of getting an item in boss rush does that item actually have a meaningful impact on us winning? That means you've got to, like, subtract... At least in a situation where things are kind of delicate. you got to subtract situations where you're already definitely going to win and you pick up a decent item. There's, of course, the obvious where you're, you're doing okay. You walk into a room like that and then you start to lose as a result of having to do boss rush. Um, I'm, like, almost in tears. I don't know how useful Blood of the Martyr is going to be here, but genuinely... Your boy was looking at that Dr. Fetus, and he was like, if you don't put a bomb down and re-roll it in two seconds, you know you're going to pick it up. Okay, well... I feel like we had to try. Now... I, we could make it... It's a bit of a rush job. Hit me twice. Hit me twice to, to put me in the room. All right, I'm not feeling that smart right now. Mind you, what else are we going to do? We missed the shop with three cents. It was a calculated gamble. Um, I will take the pentagram. It's a little scary. Now we should probably focus on defense, like, almost exclusively. So just stay cool. You're in, a, you're in an okay spot. Absolutely, like, there's no reason you should be looking at this situation right now and saying we're definitely going to lose. You shouldn't be looking at the situation and going, easiest win of my life, either, but... Dude, our red chests letting me down in a big way. Take me out of here. It's not in a... I want this to be clear, okay? I'm not turning my back on Zane. But Dr. Fetus... It's a fun item. It is a little zany. I don't know if it would have been that zany for one. I don't actually think it would have been that good or that bad. I think it's like most of the time you pick up Dr. Fetus is sort of like a neutral change, I think. That's the way I look at it. I know I'm, I'm taking a lot of telepills here, by the way, but... I do think we're kind of on one of those runs right now where, you know, the less rooms we do, the more likely we are to live. And that's not every run. This is a mess. What happened? <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen this many turrets in such close proximity. We made it. I was very I was thinking about using a bomb to get out of there, but I'm glad I didn't. Oh, the matriarch is highly dangerous. Oh! Yep. At least we get invincibility. Drop some bombs in there. It's not that bad. Not yet. Not yet. Just be very cautious with this deal with the devil. Number one choice, nine lives. Guaranteed huge help. We probably almost certainly want to take super bandage immediately. You have to. And I know, like, you're you're preaching to the choir here, you know? It was the exact situation I said. <laughs> we don't have to take Guppy's uh, tail, but I want to. Because I left the keys upon the table. And that was a little subversion of the original joke, and we bring it back. The thing is, we got a 100% chance of a deal with the devil here. Um, and that's now meaningless because of the fact that we have Curse of the Blind. So, like, uh, you know, this could be just a disaster waiting to happen, but... 
That's half the fun, right? Oh. Good stuff. Just keep this guy, like, right where you can see him. There you go. Don't like that move. I like the one where you shoot bullets in, like, three directions. That one's a lot better for me. It's another tele... It's a lockup. Disregard. Telepills me. Again. It's a bit of a gamble. Ooh. But I do think the less rooms we do, the better off we are. I'm on this particular run. Looking for tinted rocks. Didn't see him. This is the, I would say this is like a threat level yellow for tinted rocks. There's a high percent, well, a moderate chance we would see one. Pretty much textbook. I think we want to go... Well, I don't know which way we want to go, to be honest. I feel like this guy's greed. I know it's freaking me out. I just, I got a real sense of, like, there was an eerie presence in that room. And you know what? I'm glad it wasn't because it reaffirms that I have no superstitions or uh, beliefs in any kind of, like, paranoia or paranormal ESP, extrasensory perception, etc., etc., etc. I feel like I'm more rational having left the room. Let's check the second secret room. Mmm, gotta take it, I think. Why? Straight up in my head, I was like, I don't need to answer that. Well, you're not cops, so here's the thing. I'll answer the question. Stop taking money out of Bumbo's mouth, dude. Oh, beautiful. Um, well, I thought it was the right idea to take it. Because raw HP... The thing is, if you pick up one HP, it's kind of bad. But... It, if you pick up one HP, it means you can pick up every HP as it comes. And then, you know, at that point, in aggregate, it could be worth a lot more than having skipped them all. We just don't know. Maybe we'll get no more HP. Maybe we'll get a bunch more HP. I'm drowsy. is huge here. Don't do it. Let's see. I can't. I, again, I had to, my brain had to take over before my brain did something that it, I didn't want to do. I know that's like three different brains in action here. It's the three brain problem, a Hugo award-winning sci science fiction novel. One brain was like, pick up at least one, you won't. And then another brain was like, pick up both of them. You got a little bit of HP and that's all you could ever need. And then my third brain was like, please don't let them take any of them. You need every bit of HP you got in order to win. These are real tests of my willpower. I have no idea where I am. I've just realized this is probably a poor decision. You guys, don't get so close to me, okay? <laughs> you don't like that song? It's by Sting. Don't get so close to me. A year has passed since I ripped my scrot. I really tore it all up. Okay, well, we know where we're going, at least. That was the room we started in. Oh, beautiful room. Luck upgrades, please. Stop taking money from Bumbo. He just wants to eat. Wow, Anel, I knew you hated panhandlers, but not like this. <laughs> not true. Crank it. Yo, okay, we got a good Bumby. Bumbus. The Bumbus amongst us. He's helping. I'm helping. That's Bumbo. He's my new character. Silence. I kill you. It's not even close to being similar to the Jeff Dunham one. It's different. This is Bumbo. The dead alchemist. <laughs> Why is Bumbo an alchemist? Well, you'll just have to buy the special edition DVD, buddy. You want to get all the lore for free? I don't think so. Just a couple of spirit hearts would really make me a happy man, but... Ooh, okay, so, dude, health upgrade. This is exactly the situation we called for. Were it not for the fact that we took uh, the Eternal Heart, we probably would say, eh, maybe it's not for the best to take this health upgrade. But in conjunction with one another, probably the right decision to start investing in these so we're starting to pull together 
a run that I think is a little bit more likely to succeed. Stats are decent. Pills are sometimes pretty good. <laughs> it's about as high as I'm willing to go on that one. Oh, it's, no room on earth will make you uh, want a an ability to fly more than this one when your HP is a little delicate. And that's the thing, right? Like, uh, you gotta remember, the cathedral is relatively easy. The chest has, it, I mean, even the chest is not that bad, but uh, the chest has some rooms that are real backbreakers. Double cage, double adversary are big ones, but even just, you know, ones that are, uh, it's telepills, I think? Ones that are, uh, you know, a bunch of mini-bosses. If you don't have Shoop to Whoop, it could be a pain in the butt. There's a really good success rate there. We're following the Isaac flowchart, really. You, you really can distill a lot of the game. Let's go. Oh, let's not go. You can distill a lot of the game down to, you know, what should I do in this unique situation? You know, and, you know, if you have extra bombs, you should be blowing up things that can give you benefits for your bombs. If you have, uh... Ooh, that's insanely great. If you got, uh, depending on the floor you're on, you should blow up skulls, you should blow up mushrooms, you should blow up etc, etc, and etc. You get the gist of it. Most of the time, that stuff... Sorry, Bumbo. Didn't mean to take those ones. Most of the time, that stuff is relatively optional. As the run gets tighter and tighter, it becomes more and more important. And on this run, I think it's, it's at a pretty, you know, pivotal level of importance, unfortunately. But I like it. None. I was going to say none runs. That is not how that works. But it's a great television program on the Outdoor Life Network. Where, I mean, you guessed it, a nun runs. Help. It's good practice, because none of our runs recently whoop, have uh, have stayed... Well, not many of our runs recently have stayed unlosable. So having to stay permanently fresh, like a desiccated piece of animal jerky, I think it can only have a positive impact on our performance. Dude, that's actually... Okay, the secret room as well, but... It's actually absurd how much HP we picked up. It's going to be mighty slow, you know. We haven't broken the bank on damage. We didn't get the guppy transformation. I deserve to be hit there, unfortunately. This is not the place to stand. But we're lucky, you know. Previously... Even a floor ago, taking this much damage on Isaac, we would have been like, oh, I'm really anxious now. After getting so many health upgrades, we're really just like, eh, it's okay. We can live. We should live, really. Just a few more hits. We'll go to the, self or the second secret room as well. It's likely to have, like, an eternal heart in it. I would love if it had a bunch of red chests and we could become guppy. Okay, a, a demon heart is also fine. We would really, really like to up our DPS, even just up in it ever so slightly would be worth oodles. Well, the mind. Beautiful. Not a long trip to get to our boss fight. Angry fly. Not worth a whole lot. Boom. It's worth something. Shoop the whoop is still, I think, better here. I'm gonna take a gamble. The gamble completely paid off. Wanted the HP. If we follow the flow chart, nothing can stop us. Stay at half hard intervals. Don't even need those. One more room. And I hope you'll forgive me for taking, uh, I wouldn't say the easy way out, but, you know, for being a little bit more cautious here towards the end, because things were getting a little touchy. Luck up. Love it. Sorry, Bumbus. <laughs> Go ahead and hit me. 
We're not at mathematical invincibility yet, where, like, three, uh, shoop the whoops will kill him, but we can't be that far off. I just don't know what you do, Angry Fly, like... Like, what is it you'd say you do here? I see you're flying around, you're taking care of minions, but that's that can't be your job description. Destroys enemy minions? It's like... It's pretty terrible. I think you can see, by the way, like... Certainly not my best mechanical fight against this guy ever, but simultaneously, like... You know, certainly... A little bit more of a, a nuanced finish as well. Like, I'm very, very glad we preserved as much HP as possible by telepilsing. Could have easily backfired on us, but it didn't. And here we are. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Is that 26? 25. Going for 26 next time. See ya!